I have a feeling that many of the technologies that we were all excited about in the past couple of years are like bouncing against the 90% barrier of living up to expectations. Uh, we've, we've been promised amazing things and a lot of things are super, super cool, but it's like we never hit the real 100% target of living up to expectations. I mean, if, if you look at some of the evolutions, like now we're all talking about the metaverse and virtual reality, augmented reality, and, and there are a lot of cool things happening. I mean, these new uh, glasses here, these, these smart glasses or VR glasses or mixed reality glasses that Meta launched a couple of weeks ago. I mean, it's super, super cool, but if you try it out yourself, yeah, it's, it's not as good as the videos that we always see. Uh, and at this point, Mark Zuckerberg is trying to convince the world that virtual reality is the next platform, and it probably will be, or it will be something important. But today, it's still kind of gimmicky. Uh, you, you still bounce and bump into the limitations of this technology. And, and the same goes for many other things that I was excited about in the last couple of years. I mean, look at voice assistants. I, I have all of them at home. And they're fun, they're super cool, we use them a lot for music and some basic things, but they're not the partner in life yet that we all hoped for so much. Or look at the market of driverless vehicles. I was convinced six or seven years ago that my oldest son would not need a driver's license because the car would take him anywhere he wanted in a full safe way. Well, he's 13 now and he's starting to talk about getting his driver's license and the truth is he will still need his driver's license because we bump into the 90% border of what is happening at this point. And, and let's not talk about chatbots and the expectations versus reality there. So this is what I mean with the 90% tech experience. It's cool, but it's not good enough. And, and this is the main reason why technology is no longer the holy grail in customer experience. Of course, we will use technology for efficiency means, for personalization, and technology will play a vital role in customer experience, but it is no longer the holy grail. In the past 10 years, we believed that technology would solve a lot and solve a lot of the issues in customer experience. Today, we see that this is not the case. Technology is no longer the holy grail, but customer culture is. Uh, like in 2014, I, I wrote this book. It's eight years old when digital becomes human. And I think it's more relevant than ever before. Because today, most of the organizations that I work with, they all feel that customer culture will make a difference. And that you need a culture of, of saying yes to your customers. Uh, not a culture of just automation, but a culture where you understand what people want and you try to help them. A culture of being kind, being human. A culture with positive intent. I mean, customers, they really understand if something is difficult or if it doesn't work. But if they don't feel positive intent, that's when they become angry. If they see that you try really hard and do whatever you can to make them happy, well, then your customers will appreciate that and, and will be happy about that. So customer culture is the differentiator at this moment. And I think if you look to the next couple of years and the challenges that we're facing with right now, I mean, customer culture will be the differentiator in a world where technology is not living up to the expectations to make customers really, really happy. Humans and culture will be the differentiators.